In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to add multiple text segments in your title designer into a single title. When I first started using PowerDirector, I thought I needed a separate title for every piece of text I wanted on the screen. And you can do it that way, but you don't have to. Let me show you how. I'm going to first of all put a color board for the background here. So I'll click on Media Content and click on my color board. We'll take a blue one and drag it to track number one. Then I'm going to go ahead and go back to my main screen here and click on my title room. And I'm in my custom, so I'm just going to pick one I've done before called PP6. I can drag that into the title track or any other track that's below the color board. I'll drag it into track two to make it simple. And here is my main title. Now let's do some editing of this title. In, I can press the F2 key or double click on it either way will get me into my title designer. Now I'm in the title designer. I, um, I can tweak the original title here. I'd like a, a thicker border on it. The default is white. Let's turn that to black, make that stand out a little better. And there's my main title. Now what if I want another title? Well, right now, if I look down here at the track, I just have one track. I'm going to condense it by clicking on the down arrow. I don't need to see all those features of it. But that's all I have. And I can't click here and add one. How do you add one? Pretty simple. You can either click on the T up here, and it will add a title. Or you can double click anywhere in your background in the preview window. And now it added a second title. So let's uh, go ahead and type something here. Let's say this is uh, uh, point number one. And I want a, a sub point to come in. And uh, let's do it. Let's uh, take this and do it again. I can double click point number two. Let's do another one here. Double click and type point number three. Okay, and if I look down below, what I have here, I'll condense all these so you can see them pretty easily. We'll move up uh, so we can see I have four title tracks, one, two, and three. Now, if I want to align these, which I do, I'll hold the control key down and click each of them. And then I can use this alignment tool here, align objects. I say align left. Now they're all aligned to the left side, but I can now that they're aligned, I can take and take and with all of them clicked again, I can drag, move my mouse until it turns to the uh, cross with the four arrows, and I can drag all of them over. And now they're lined up. And now if I go ahead and play it, there's not no action here. It's not very interesting. But here's something that you can do that's lots of fun. I can take each of these and control when they come on the screen. Okay, so I'm going to take the point number one and, and uh, this, t this title track. And I will drag it over. And you can see above how far we're going. We'll go uh, two seconds. back up there two seconds then we'll take point number two and we'll drag it over to four seconds and point number three we'll drag over six seconds And watch what happens when I go ahead and play this. Here comes one, and two, and three. And uh, I'll click on OK because I need to lengthen my color board up here. It's not long enough to be consistent. And we'll go back to our title designer. Again, I have one title here. Press the F2 key to get back into the title designer. And now if I play it, the background stays blue. And after two seconds, I have point 0.1, after 2.2, .2, after 2.3. 
The other thing I can do that uh, if I want to make it a little more exciting here, I can go ahead and uh, uh, shrink these down here. Whenever I get into the designer, it goes ahead and shows all the features because I can change the position, the scale, the opacity, uh, all these keyframes. We have another lesson on that. But what I'd like to do right now is uh, for point one and two and three, I'm going to change the way they, they begin. Now, if I click here, I don't see anything in terms of transitions, but I click on effect here. I have to click on the title. There we go. Click on effect starting effect and right now it's nothing let me try one that says uh, let's try the slide left so we'll set this one to slide left we'll take the second one we'll set this one to slide left we'll take the third one and we'll click on that and click on that one to slide left and now when I sit do my preview mode. I'll play it. My main title sh starts there. I have point number one, point number two, and point number three. And so it's a nice way to use multiple uh, uh, segments of uh, text in a single title uh, when you're working. Now if you wanted to make sure that the, they were all on the screen uh, at the at different points in time you can adjust the spacing you can lengthen the title to give you more room and time to do things uh, and again this is just a, a great way to begin to uh, use lots of text in a single title slide in PowerDirector mm -hmm.